In this video, I am going to show you how to enable SSH on a Cisco switch and be able to connect from a remote computer. So let's take a switch here. I'm going to take a 3650 switch. Let me turn on the switch. This is a modular switch. So I have to put the power and then now I can go to CLI. Now the switch is booting. So let me uh, get a computer setup here, PC. And then I'm going to interconnect them while the switch reboots. Let's come here. Let me get a straight through cable. Connect to the switch one. All right, so let's get the switch configured. Okay, switch is up. I'm going to configure from CLI. So, to be able to configure SSH, first you need to have a host name. Okay, let's do name copy and paste it here okay I have host name set up and let me set up the domain IP dom do domain name www.abc.com so domain been set up now I have to set up a management IP because you need a management IP for a remote connectivity so let's set up a VLAN VLAN 100 name MGMT management let me in VLAN 100 that you go to the interface and set up an IP IP address uh, 9268 1.2255255550 shut just in case all right so that's and then I need to put port 1 into VLAN 100 T int pick one zero one switch port access VLAN one hundred. All right, so that is set up. Now what you have to do is you need to set up a username and password. Let's set a user exit. You need a global config exit username say admin password I'll say uh, you can see so let me set up an unencrypted password zero if you set I think if you set seven the password will be hidden so let me set an unencrypted one that is Cisco so that's done and then I'm going to set up an encryption uh, enable because you need an enable password also enable secret I'm going to uh, set up a secret password that's going to be Cisco also so that has been set up now now what I have to do is I need to um, set up a crypto key first uh, before even you start show version and then see the switch can support the OS can support the crypto if you see K9, this is a cryptic image that will support crypto. So 
So let's set up a crypto key generate or RSA and uh, let me set uh, 2048 okay so SSH uh, 1.99 has been enabled and now what you have to do is uh, let's set up the IP uh, uh, SSH timeout because you need to have a timeout right now it's 30 you can set up also 60 that's a normal that means you know if you leave this session it will be locked out within 30 seconds and then I can set up a, a how many retries somebody can do let me do a two the default is five that means uh, you know uh, you don't want somebody uh, repeatedly repeatedly retry uh, and guess the password right. so that's been set up now and now you have to go to line VTY 0 to 15 and then you need to set up um, login local that means you know um, it need to recognize the the local username and password so you need to enable log in local so that means it will ask say if you put a password um, admin and it will recognize the the local password that is the uh, one you set up as a cisco other than the enable password and then uh, what I have to do is here and I will have to put input like only allow IP uh, SSH connection only so to do that you need to say transport input SSH this means this will only allow SSH it will not allow telnet okay so login okay so for all the lines the password is set up now exit and uh, write mem so let me go to my computer here let me set up the IP address first 192 1.5 1.2 is a SVI and you don't have to have a gateway because uh, both the PC and the management VLAN a management IP is on the same VLAN so no gateway needed let me close this out let me go to a telnet session here so let me type 192.168.1.2 admin Cisco CIS Cisco. It is not recognizing the password. Let me check the login local. So, so let me fix what uh, the problem is. Conti int line vty by 0 to 15 let me put these commands okay exit timeout 
60 logging synchronous in transport input SSH login local and write them show run let me go here uh, so this is the same thing you know what I put like a uh, in 60 second it will time out and synchronous login local because this login local was not there even though I put before something happened so transfer transport input SSH okay and let me write mem now I go here let me try again here 192 168 1.2 admin connect okay now it accepted my login local and enable so it's going to ask the enable password that's also Cisco so now I am into that uh, switch uh, hope this video is helpful please do like and subscribe uh, to my channel thanks so much